wonder if we're going to turn right on Highway 9 or 9 or U-turn, we can park on the side of the road right there. Hopefully when we come out it won't be raining and we'll, uh, I can fly the drone for just a minute. Yeah. Wow, I love that old power wagon that sits out front there. I guess it came from the Drummond Ranch. Uh, we should come back one day and take a tour of the Drummond Ranch. Yeah, one day. Uh, the Pioneer Woman's Mercantile Shop has a restaurant and a store on the bottom floor. And upstairs, there's a really nice bakery and coffee shop. They saw Sparilla. I should have got what? The cowboy coffee. And why is that? It's got sarsaparilla. That doesn't sound very cowboy. Sarsaparilla. It's very cowboyish. They have cayenne pepper in my coffee. It sounds like something you have to drink with your pinky sticking out. Oh, <laughs> cowboys don't do that. What is that? It's a spicy cowgirl. Yeah, but what are you drinking? It's a spicy cowgirl. It comes with bacon, sausage, and ham. Yeah, that's what sold me. Hi guys, how are we doing? We're good. Hi. Yeah. Can I get you guys guys in the way? Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. That was a really good breakfast. I can tell you lunch here is also really good. Uh, about a year ago, I came through here on business. Do you know what you want? I, I don't. You do? Okay. <laughs> I need a minute. Oh, I almost opened this. I kind of opened this one. Um, I stopped in and had lunch. I didn't have Mindy with me to tell me what I like, so I asked the waitress. She recommended the Turkey Bacon Club sandwich. The hometown feel of it was really well topped off with the homemade chips and the soda served in a mason jar. Could I get it to go back? I'm not going to be able to eat the whole thing. I know, it's a big sandwich. 
Everything about that sandwich is just perfect. Good. Yeah. Now you get to go over to your right. It was real good. You missed out. Do you want to go cat? Uh, no. I'm going to go upstairs and have coffee. It's pretty hard to believe the best sandwich I ever had was only $12. That was a great sandwich. Ree and Lad Drummond spent years renovating this old building. You can find pictures of before and after and the progress on their website. They did a fine job. This is a beautiful building. You haven't made it eight feet yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it was on their website. I read uh, a quote from Ree saying that there's no rhyme or reason to the merchandise she has in her store. She just picked out a bunch of stuff that she liked. So you can find anything from here from toys and pillows, housewares, and even whoopee cushions. I really like the bakery upstairs. It's a great place to have a cup of coffee with a nice view. The service here is really good. All the employees just seem real happy to be here. I'm impressed at the way they keep the small town hospitality. Even though this place sees an average of over 6,000 people a day. Some days they get over 15,000. So if you come on a Saturday afternoon for lunch, I'd say you can count on waiting in line. But when you're in a small town like this and you have to wait in line for lunch, that's a sure sign that it's really good food. Yeah, I wish we lived closer so I could uh, work my way through trying everything on the menu. Today was a good day.